congrats for uh, caring about how the customers feel about your company and about your e-commerce. You're here to learn about the Net Promoter Score. So what you first need to know about the NPS is that it's working, but it's not working if you don't do some things. And within the next few minutes, I'm going to help you understand what are the things that you need to do in order to leverage the NPS properly in your e-commerce. So let's start. NPS is the response on a scale from zero to 10 to the question, how likely is that you recommend our company to a friend or colleague or relative or acquaintance or whatever? Based on those responses, you'll get various types of answers. You'll get people that are rating from 9 to 10, and these are the promoters. You'll have people which are neutrals, the ones that give you 7 or 8, and you'll have detractors, the ones that give you any rating from 0 to 6, including. And the calculation behind the NPS is pretty simple. You take into account only the percentage of the promoters minus the percentage of the detractors. In this case, we have 1,000 responses and we have 500 promoters and we have 200 detractors, that means the NPS is going to be 30. All of those customers will fall into this type of buckets, promoters, passives, and detractors. The challenge with the NPS is that it's an average. And you know what the problem with the average is, right? If you look in this example, the average temperature in San Luis and in San Francisco is the same, 65 degrees Fahrenheit, but the problem is that if you look at various moments throughout the time, you can see that in San Francisco is pretty much flat, while in St. Louis you have pretty cold moments and pretty hot moments as well. And that's why you need to segment the NPS. You need to look at what the detractors are saying. You need to look at what the promoters are saying. And moreover, you need to understand what's behind a certain NPS. So if you segment the NPS by the RFM, you will have some surprises. In this example, you can see that the NPS goes all the way from 46, which is uh, given by the customer segment called the about to dump you, so customers which are churning, and uh, all the way up to 79.6, which is given by the best customers that this company has, which are the soulmates. So there is a lot of variation over here. So what you wanna do, if you have enough data to support it, is to go deeper and to understand what made those customers to give this rating. And that's the follow-up question after the NPS. In this example, it's clear that the main issues are regarding customer service and the return policy. So these are the things that the company should address. The best thing about segmenting the NPS based on the RFM segments is that you'll see how various problems are more important to your best customers. In this example, we have the power customers, which are soulmates, lovers, new passions, and flirting. And we have the active customers as well, which are potential lovers, platonic friends, and the apprentices. If you want to learn more about the RFM, you can find a lot of things on our, on our website and our support documentation. What is important is to segment the NPS and to understand by RFM group and also by the reasons why they would not buy again right? So these kind of issues are the ones that you should be tackling. So in this example, it's, it's clear that the low product quality is the most important everywhere. But there are some anomalies as well in the sense of the prices is not a problem for the potential lovers. And it's um, one of the main problems for the new passions and the lovers, as you can see over here. What is also important is to group those type of issues so that you can understand which are the main three things that you should be tackling next. Based on those responses, you can use an NLP or you can use an in-depth way to, to analyze this kind of data and also group them into issues like products, or customer experience or prices and whatever. So once you monitor these issues, the idea is to take action. But about this in a future episode about the NPS.